Uh, I have a Winston S. Churchill typed letter signed. Okay, signed letter written by Winston Churchill. Yes, sir. Or typed by a secretary signed by Winston Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell Winston S. Churchill typed letter signed. I'm a historical documents dealer, so I collect a wide range of material, and I specialize in collect uh, Churchill material. I would like $3,000 for this letter so I can reinvest money and also have a baby on the way. God, he had some terrible writing, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a little illegible. It's written to a Dorothy Alhusen, who was a famous uh, food writer. He's thanking her for a gift. It was a paperweight that belonged to Benjamin Disraeli. Benjamin Disraeli was a famous prime minister from the 19th century. OK. My dear Dorothy, thank you so much for sending me Lord Baconsfield paperweight. I am indeed glad to have this historic gift, which I will always cherish. Then in his own hand, he writes, I keep it on my table. It's cool because it's an association between Churchill and Disraeli, two of the greatest prime ministers of Great Britain. It says it was Lord Baconsfield. Benjamin Disraeli was the first Earl of Baconsfield. OK. Uh, this is Churchill in between being prime minister. I mean, he had a, a gazillion different positions in the British government. He saved Great Britain during World War II. Yeah, I mean, he was a great leader during World War II. It's Churchill, I know it's collectible, so how much do you want for it? Uh, I was hoping to get $3,000. Okay, let me have someone look at it, make sure he signed it and not his secretary. Okay, because that was a pretty common thing back then. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. All right. I think an expert coming in sounds great, but I'm not concerned about the authenticity of the item. I'm 100% confident that the item is authentic. Earlier, a guy came in the shop with a letter signed by none other than Winston Churchill, he wants $3,000 for it, and I want to make sure it was signed by him and not his secretary. So I'm calling my buddy Steve to make sure the signature is legit. Here is the mystery wrapped in the enigma of, well, whatever it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Churchill. He lived 90 years, so there's a lot of signed stuff. I see the date on there, 1948. He had his first stroke in 53. So, you know, obviously with a stroke, his writing's going to be different, and it started actually getting a lot worse. So what are your concerns? Um, is it real and what's it worth? The first thing I like to do is take a look using some magnification, just see what he ended up signing this in. 1948, I'd be looking for a fountain pen. And right here, we see right away, when you have a fountain pen, the ink just kind of flows out. And I'm starting to see that all throughout here. So there's no doubt that's live ink on there, Rick. OK. OK, so the next thing I do want to look at is I want to take a look at the exemplars I have on file. The first part of his signature is here, OK, and the second part. And take a look at here. We see the same thing. He liked to have a nice slant to the right when he wrote. And you could see that right here. And here, he drops a paraff. Here, he kind of adds it on the end of the Y. Really neat. You could tell these match up pretty well, Rick. OK, so it's all legit. Absolutely no problem about that. What's it worth? The letters of him typically sell in the twelve to $1,500 range. The thing I do like about this is it's got the writing on it, and I would put the value at the high end of that scope, so probably about $1,500 for this piece. Would that still be $1,500 with the association? Because the paperweight belonged to Benjamin Disraeli. For his case, he'd have to find someone to tie that whole thing together for him. You know, would it be that significant to someone you're selling it to? Thanks, man. Good to see you. Yeah. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, Mr. Yeah, Grant. Pleasure. Take care. Thank you. Yep. So what's your bottom line on? I don't know. How much are you willing to offer? I'll give you 1100 bucks for it. I mean, I have other things that sell really, really quickly. This is going to take a while. Tell you what, why don't we just make this quick and easy. 1250 it's yours. <sighs> and it's got the association. I'll, I'll give you 1200 bucks. So 1200 bucks. I think 1200 sounds good. All right, it's a deal. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. I'll meet you right over there. We'll do some paperwork. That's right, Mr. Harrison. <laughs> Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.